one. All right. So um, the notes today, easy. And I, I want to be up front. If anybody that hears this on YouTube, they might disagree with me, but I'm going to say right up front, so many biology teachers dread teaching this for whatever reason. This like scares the dickens out of them. I don't know why. You got to, you kind of got to know the topic and exactly what your class needs. So, you know, I've done this enough. It's, it's easy. It's easy. Now, here's what we're doing today: photosynthesis. We're just going to go through a quick overview of it. Then tomorrow, quick overview of cellular respiration. Now, you guys have heard photosynthesis, photosynthesis, photo, all throughout elementary, but do you ever remember hearing cellular respiration? It's because you know they they don't they don't know anything about it, so they, it scares them. But we're going through cellular respiration. Plants go through photosynthesis. Okay, and then tomorrow we're going to go through that quick, and then get busy on something. We got a lab tomorrow. Okay, so like anything else we ever do in class. You think you all know what photosynthesis is, and I'm going to say, no, nah, you don't. You don't. Okay? Watch this. Everybody needs to break that word up, just like we always do. Break that word. If I say photo, what is that? Picture. picture, right? You think picture. That's the first thing that comes to your mind is a picture. But technically, in this case, that's not what it means. This is what it means. Here's a little, uh, here's a little earth space science Light is made up of little particles of light called photons. So that's where you get the word photo. But photo means light. Now if I say synthesis or I synthesize, what am I doing? Recre I'm making, creating. So if I put this, if I put making, oh, look at this. I'm making something out of light. That's what photosynthesis means. Now if you want the actual definition right here it is the process that uses sunlight oh look right there it is to make carbohydrates or energy well you know the name of the sugar that it makes all plants make starts with a g yeah look at that you guys are good how do you know that's a sugar oats it's got oats at the end now get this down this is one of those things you have to recognize by sight Glucose, that's the name. But if you look at its chemical structure, it's C6 H12O6. Now, before you like blow gaskets here, this is a molecule that's made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, but it has six carbons, 12 hydrogen atoms, six oxygen atoms. That's glucose. And so when we eat like fruity pebbles in the morning, our body is quickly turning that into glucose so we can power our cellular respiration. Okay, questions so far? Okay, plants. We gotta go back to ecology. Plants are autotrophs. We're heterotrophs, right? We gotta eat. But they don't. They just go out in the sun and through photosynthesis, they gain all their energy. So remember, that's there's three things here that you're gonna have to kind of be up with. Then, big, 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 big. Guaranteed test question. It's found in the chloroplast. Now, what the heck is a chloroplast, right? This is what it is. Check that out. There's probably one of the better pictures I've ever seen. Here's a whole big plant cell. You can't see most of it, but here's the chloroplast. This is what light is going through, and it's creating photosynthesis. <coughs> is helping create energy. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. Really cool picture of it. Now, do you notice anything weird about it? Don't say it, but just kind of look at it other than it's green. There's something about its structure that should just jump out. Okay, so chloroplast, this organelle. Now, I don't care how you take these notes. You take them however you want. Light comes from the sun, and it's going to hit this plant cell right here. Now, just to kind of get a, a grip of it, here's your plant cell. Here's the nucleus. Here's the vacuole. This is where the water and the plant cells are stored. And then all these things look like green grapes, green raisins. Those are the chloroplasts. So that's the organelles. Plant cells have way more than one, just like how we have way more than one mitochondria. Yeah. Now chloroplasts, 
Now look at this hand drawn one. What pops? What sticks out to you? What makes you stand up and say, oh, that's kind of weird? Or it looks cool. What is it? Yeah, look at all the circles. Is this what you're talking about? Look at that. I always call them like in like green quarters. You stack green quarters, and you got another stack of green quarters, another stack. And so this is where photosynthesis has taken place here, right? This is uh have you guys ever been in trouble for getting grass stains on your clothes? Yeah. I was constantly in trouble with that. You know? When you're out playing football or you get tackled, you get pushed down, or you get in a fight, whatever it was, and you crush the cell of a plant. And then all these get crushed and break open. And then all that chlorophyll comes out, that green pigment stains your pants. It comes out eventually. But by the time it comes out, your pants are worn out anyway. Okay. Now what, what I'm doing here, I'm going to circle one of those stacks. And then we're going to expand it a little bit. Okay, one of those stacks. Now that's called a granum or grana. Granum or grana but it's never called granny. That's your grandma. Okay, grana or granum. And then if you take one of the little stacks of quarters and you, you expand it out here, basically it's just a bag full of chlorophyll. Right, that green goodness. Here's a, here's a cool thing. Have you guys ever noticed in nature a plant that is totally black? Have you ever? I have never. I've been to different places. I've never noticed a black plant. Have you ever noticed a totally white plant? You've noticed plants that have white in it, right? But the leaves might have green. Think about this. Why would you not want to wear a black shirt out in summertime? It's going to absorb the sun. It's going to get like smoking hot. Why would you want to wear a white one then in the summertime? It reflects it, right? So Mother Nature has found plants aren't black because they would absorb too much sunlight and then cook them. They're not white because then you wouldn't have photosynthesis. So Mother Nature has figured out the perfect color, and it's green. It absorbs just enough, just enough. Now, let's see what you remember about chlorophyll. Do you remember the two main forms from the thing yesterday? A, B. You know what's cool? It goes A, B, C, D, E, F. It keeps going. But mainly, you guys have to worry about A, B. So chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B. All right. Any questions?